hello curly fries welcome back to my channel welcome in if you are new today we are going to be touring my promenade on eternity isle um, if you are not sure where that is i will show you on the map it is this spot right here i did decorate this entire spot along with some transitional areas which i will do another video on before we get started today, please hit the like, subscribe, and notify buttons as it does help out my channel quite a lot. The first house on the left is my Fairy Bloss home. I did do a speed build on this build. Um, I will link it in the description below and it'll be at the end of the video if you want to watch. I just wanted this area to be full of flowers and bright colors and everything to match the home i do love how this turned out and i didn't make it too overgrown i wanted it mostly to be about the flowers on the right we have the new tavern skin that we got in the monsters inc update i love this skin so much it gives me cottage core vibes i decorated the back of this with just a few tables and a fence um, just somewhere to sit the rest of it was just natural areas on this side i do have my cooking and crafting station i did not decorate this it's kind of hard to decorate in this corner you can't really put stuff behind these two items so i just kind of left it there for now i will find another place to put it hopefully very soon and then we go around this way i put my purple cottage I put Gaston's house and I also put the library skin that we also got in the Monsters Inc. update. Um, I am obsessed with this area so much. I love it. It's very overgrown. Um, gives me, um, I don't know what kind of vibes. I just love it. <laughs> I love to put all these houses together mainly because the purple cottage and the library has similar roofs and Gaston's house did too but his is red of course. But I love the brown and tan kind of look for these houses. Um, I like to keep my builds functional, so I do have the mining node available to access right here. Um, and then I just put this fountain in the middle as sort of a centerpiece. Um, I got some recycling bins over here and a picnic blanket. Um, and that's about it for this area. I did also decorate this transitional area down to the desert and up to the castle. I will do another video on these transitional areas. I was so excited to finally get a part of my eternity aisle done, an entire section of it. So hopefully we can get some done in the future. I am going to walk around this build at night so you can see how the lights glow. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.